Hey guys. Um, so, um, I'm in my new apartment. I freaking love it so much. Um, but anyway, so today's video is, um, so, God, I don't know where to start. Um, so me and my boyfriend, um, officially broke up, um, Sunday, um, as I have said in past videos, I don't know if I have said, we had broke up last April and, um, we were trying to work on things, you know, we were still together, living together, trying to work things out and everything. Um, but Sunday, well, Saturday, something happened early Sunday morning, something happened and we officially broke up. Um, he moved all of his things out and, um, you know, I'm hurt, like I'm heartbroken and, um, so today's video, I just want to talk about heartbreak. So, you know, when you get heartbroken, it's hard to bounce back from that. It's hard to make yourself be okay with having your heart broken. Um, it's hard to be like, okay, this may be best for me. Um, don't get me wrong. I love him. Always will. Always have, always will. Um, through everything we've been through, through everything that all the fights, the arguments, the laughs, the tears, the jokes, the everything, you know, I love him and I'm going to miss him. And uh, my son's taking it pretty hard. You know, he's kind of, he keeps asking when his daddy's coming home and it kind of sucks because you don't want to tell him that he's not coming home, even though he won't, he's not coming home. But it's like, I know that he's still going to be there for my son. And I, of course, told you all that biologically, that's not his son. But I know that he'll still take care of my son. I know he'll still be there for my son. Um, I know that if push comes to shove and I need him, he's going to be there. But my son had gotten so used to the mommy daddy and seeing him every day and him putting him to sleep and everything like that. So um, it's hard. You know, my son, he's three. So he's kind of, he doesn't understand what's going on. Um, he hasn't seen his dad since Sunday and it, it sucks, but, um, sorry guys, it's, it's emotional. Um, but you know, nonetheless, I still love him. Um, if he ever needed me, I'd be there as soon as he calls. Um, you know, it's nothing but love. Um, but like I said, I want to talk about breakups, you know, breakups can be hard, um, they can weigh heavy on our souls. And um, sometimes when we have a breakup, you know, it, it causes us to go into this depression, into this funk to where we don't think that we can make it. So I'm just here to say, like, a breakup, a relationship, a relationship does not define you. And that breakup does not define you. And, you know, it's going to suck to break up with somebody that you've seen a future with, somebody that you've seen so much you know you see marriage and kids and a life and a future um and it's hard because you have to then accept that that's just not what it's going to be um but all in that same sense you know nobody knows what god has for them um who's to say that in a couple months couple years me and him will rekindle and um everything will work out the way that we had it planned <clears throat> Try not to cry, guys. Anyway, um, I just want to say, ladies, fellas, don't let that breakup stop you. Um, Sunday was a hard day. You know, it was the first day. It was fresh. And um, it was really hard. Like, I had a hard time being like, okay, you know, he's not coming back. Um, I had a hard time being like, it's over. But... Um, I, moving forward, you know, like I said, even though my son is not biologically his, we basically have a son together and I understand we're going to have to co-parent and I understand that, you know, it, it'll, it'll be hard at first because like I said, I was used to you being here all the time. I was used to waking up to you. I was used to going to sleep with you. I was used to cooking with you, eating with you, watching TV, doing everything, um, that was us. We did everything together. And um, like I said, it's hard adjusting, but I know that my life can't stop here. And um, so, like I said, for my ladies, for my fellas, understand that that breakup is going to hurt. It's, it may take some time to get over it. It may take some time to adjust. 
But you have to know that what God has for you is always going to be for you. And you have to know that just because that chapter of your life ended and just because that part of the book is over doesn't mean that there's not more to be written. And um, I had to tell myself that on Sunday. I had to keep saying, you know, it's over. This chapter ended. This part of the book is closed. Sorry, guys. <laughs> But it doesn't stop here. Um, you know, it life can't stop. I'm a mother, so I can't be like, oh, well, he broke up with me. I'm just going to sit here. Nah, I still got to get up. I still got to get my son ready. I still got to cook for my baby. I still got to let my son know that everything's good, that mama got him. And in the process of that, I've let my son know that no matter what happens between me and his dad, that his daddy loves him and he always going to love him. Like, there's no change in that. Um, like I said, my son is taking it super hard. It's hard for him to understand what is going on. Um, all he really knows is that his daddy's not here. Um, but if you have kids and you're in a relationship and that relationship seems to be stagnant and you're starting to realize that you and this person are making it work because you want to make it work so bad, but also because of the kids, take a step back. Like I said, I'm always a my ex, I mean, at the lowest point in my life, he was there, you know. Um, as I said, I suffer with bipolar disorder, so I've had a couple suicide attempts. And each time, he's been there. And so, shout out to him. But I also realized that where we are in our relationship, we did need a break. It was time for us to step back from each other. And he has goals that he has to accomplish and things that he's got to get done. And I understand that. And... I had to step back and be like, okay, you need to handle your shit. You need to, you got to go do what you got to do for you. And it sucked because I don't want him to go. You know, I, I definitely, that's not what I wanted. But I also understand that that's what's best for him at this moment. So that's something that, you know, I think all people got to realize. Like sometimes in a relationship, hell, even in friendships, we stay in it because we've been in it for so long and we've invested so much in it that we feel like we have to stay there. But if it starts to get stagnant and it starts to seem like there's no progression and it starts to feel like you don't know what to do and no matter what you do, there's always an issue. Take a step back. It's time to walk away for a little while. Um, sometimes you got to walk away and take a breather. You got to regather yourself. You got to regrow yourself. You got to remember who you are and then go back and see. Just because it's ending right now doesn't mean that it has to be ended forever. And that's something that I've been telling myself since Sunday is that just because we're done right now, just because we had to cut ties right now, just because, you know, we had to walk away from each other right now doesn't mean that we're done for good. It doesn't mean that God doesn't have something for us in the future. It doesn't mean that we can't still have a friendship. And at first it was hard because I was like, I don't want to be friends with somebody I'm in love with. Like, I'm going to have to be your friend and look at you with another female. And that hurt. But it's also like, you know... At the end of the day, though that hurts and though I don't want that, right now, that's what we needed. Um, both of us were in this stage where things of the past were still something that we were looking at. And so a lot of times if we would argue, I'd bring up what he did, he'd bring up what I did. And then it was just, it. we lost focus of what we were actually discussing. And it sucks, but... Like I said, you know, that's a part of life. Breakups are a part of life and you learn to get over it. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sad for a couple of days. I'm pretty sure I'm kind of going to be like, dang. But I realized that at the end of the day, we needed to break so that we didn't hate each other. And I believe that we were getting to the point to where we truly hated each other. Like we didn't really show a lot of love for each other. Um... Y'all have never seen him, but at the end of this, I am going to put a picture up of us because, like I said, at the lowest point of my life, he was here for me. Um, this right here is one of the scars, or some of my scars from um, attempting suicide. There are some on my legs right there. And um, he was there. He stuck it out. He, when I had to go to a mental institution, he stuck it out with me. Um, and he made sure I was good. You know, he made sure that I was okay. Um, 
He never once judged me through it. He never told me that I was crazy. Um, and because of that, I'm so grateful. Um, he may not know, but our friendship and our relationship helped me to realize things about myself. Um, so, like I said, um, I made this video simply to say that when a breakup happens, when a chapter in your life closes, when that part of the book is over, don't stop writing. Understand that right now, that may not be what God has for you. That may not be where God wants you. And it's okay. Understand that better can come, better will happen. And who knows what this chapter a lot of times in books, we'll see one thing in a chapter and that's the end of it. And then a couple chapters later, we'll see that again. And it's not to say that this chapter won't show itself again. It's not to say that this chapter won't be something more. Um, so, yeah, like I said, just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that breakups are hard. I understand, you know, and you do want to close the book once that chapter ends because that chapter was so sentimental to you. It meant so much. But keep writing. Because you never know what more is going to come. You don't know what more God has for you. You don't know what more God has for you in that chapter of your life. So, like always, subscribe, like, share, tell your friends, subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Look cool. Uh-huh. You could be cute with your little glasses and your dress.